Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Frog, back with another tech review. Today I will be taking a look at this prime new esports gaming mouse, uh, the Frog Mouse. Uh, now, I'll be completely honest with you here, I have no idea who the manufacturer of this mouse is. I found this online on a random website. It cost me about five pounds, which is uh, about five USD, uh, pre-tax and shipping. If I'm honest, this mouse really brings it back to the basics, right? The trend with mice and gaming recently has been, oh, lightweight, no, oh, super wireless, and oh, maybe some fancy buttons, ooh, maybe I need to adjust the weight. This, this has none of that, right? This is mouse one, mouse two, no side buttons. Right, no DPI button even, only a little laser of doom down there. Uh, and, and if I read the fine print, it actually says, optical mouse tested to comply with FCC standards. So you know what, that's great, it, FCC approved apparently. Um, it's for home and, and office use even. So a, a great mouse as you can see. Um, now again, no side buttons, right? We're, we're cutting the weight there. Uh, there is no DPI, there is no battery, as this is a wired mouse. So it's in fact very light. Now I have a GPRX Super Light here for size comparison. As you can see, it is essentially half the size of, of the GPX. Uh, and it's actually very light as well, lighter than the GPRX Super Light. Probably even lighter than a, a Starlight 12, if I'm completely honest. And that's because there's no bullshit with this mouse, right? This thing is is really as bare bones as it can be uh now i'm someone who usually uses a, a very you know standard ish claw grip i have you know my my pinky and my thumb on either side of the mouse and then i use uh my uh index and ring finger for mouse one and two and my middle finger for uh scroll wheel with this mouse uh, i have to take a very aggressive claw grip now i don't have you know very big hands they're they're fairly standard size hands but you know what Everyone with big hands should get a uh, amphibian shaped mouse. That's what I'm thinking. And uh, again, only mouse one and two. Uh, a little scroll wheel here. Uh, I really have to arch my middle finger to actually use the scroll wheel. But uh, you know what? That's that's prime mouse design as far as I'm concerned, right? You're really like, it's so uncomfortable that you're so focused on how you're holding the mouse that you really are going to be super pinpoint accurate in game. All right. Now I've got aimbots loaded up here. And um, as you can see, it's it's jittering a bit all over the place. I'm someone that uses a, a very high sense to begin with. I usually have 800 DPI. And as I said, there's no DPI button on this mouse. Uh, I believe this it's probably somewhere around 1200. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear that. I'm, I'm not pressing anything anymore. So, you know, occasional blips with this with this mouse, uh, but it is what it is, um, you know, uh, essentially it is just aim assist, right? Like, if you think about it. Uh, now, the mouse is disconnecting every so often, uh, but, you know, that that happens. Um, it's, it's, I have faith in the, in the mouse, and, uh, yeah, this is how the pros play. Now, time for some closing thoughts on the frog mouse. Uh, if you've sat through the entire video and you're still wondering, frog, should I get this totally cool, totally rad, totally hip looking amphibian frog mouse? Uh, the answer, quite frankly, no, don't, don't get it. But, you know, frog, uh, will this make my aim as good as simple? Uh, no. No, it will not. It most definitely will not. But frog, will it maybe install malware into my PC? Yeah, probably. With how Windows has been freaking out, I wouldn't be surprised. But frog, was this a great use of $5? abso fucking lootly. Like, I absolutely love this thing. I love the little death stare. I love that this mouse, it just, it doesn't give a shit, right? Uh, and I respect that. I honestly, I respect the hustle from this mouse. Thank you for, for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, uh, fucking smash that bell. And I'll uh, be sure to see you in the next video where I, I don't know, review some frog keyboards or something.